Hello everybody and this is Yotso from the Yotso Tech Tracks YouTube channel. It's a nice day today. I came outside for a few minutes to work on the awning on the camper. This is gonna be the first video of uh, the actual camper and what we did so far with it. Once again, this is a homemade camper. It used to be a pop-up camper trailer in basically 10-15 years ago, but all we used was the frame and we built everything up from there. This is the awning my wife just picked up from the shipping company from China. This is actually the first out of two boxes. Um, there's a little bit of an issue with the, with the other box because apparently the shipper forgot to ship it out, which is, uh, well, it means whatever that means. So they're going to ship it out, but it might take a couple of months to get the other couple of pieces that go with this. This awning is a three meter by three meter. That means it's three meters wide and it will roll out to three meters to have a nice big square uh, shade or shelter from the sun or any kind of inclement weather. This is an aluminum hard shell um, and uh, the actual awning is inside. I can flip it for you a little bit. All these three little buckles that you see here, they just pop off, they're spring loaded and uh, this thing opens up just like this and the awning just comes out three meters long. Once again, this is a weather tight waterproof box. So this is okay to leave outside 365 days a year, no matter what condition, weather, temperatures or anything like that. This is actually designed not for a camper, it's designed for a roof rack. And I can show you the brackets that came with it. These aluminum ones, uh, sorry, stainless steel ones. Um, this one and this one. This design only utilizes two, but I thought that four is better than two because it can distribute the weight and distribute the load and it will keep the whole thing from shaking, moving or vibrating down the road. Once again, this trailer is going to be driven sometimes on rough road, so I don't want any of this hardware to get loose. So if you have uh, twice the support, um, you have half the chance of failure. This. Uh, C channel is just a mock-up of exactly what I have on the camper. This is 12 feet long. Once again, this is three meters long, so it's not as long as the camper, but uh, that's not a big deal for us. And uh, I just made these out of aluminum bracketry. I have a whole bunch of these laying around, so I like to use these because they already have holes punched and I don't have to drill too many holes. Um, this one is going to have U-bolts, such as this. It's going to get clamped on from the other side and it will be bolted on. So. The whole unit is going to be suspended uh, just like so i can lift a little bit for you and this whole bracketry will suspend this whole awning and it's going to be flush right to the side of the camper and i can show you that in a couple of minutes once again um, this is the the middle two brackets i had to bend these up again because these were supposed to be an l channel that go the opposite way i had to flip it and bend it in a couple Places, but it's stainless steel very strong and uh, this is very easily to bend with a big vice I have and just my hands basically once again you can have a close-up image of what it looks like here on the front this is just uh, a u-bolt I had from a very old project I never used and this basically will go through it like this excuse the difficulty to show you this because I'm using one hand for the camera and one hand to hold this up anyway this will come through and the bracket will be welded uh, both together and uh, this will actually straighten out and the same with this one same with this one and the same with this one so let me take a few minutes to take you to the camper i'll get up on the ladder to give you a better view excuse the noise in the background somebody's driving a forklift in the company next door not much i can do about that this is the shipping crate it came in it's just a wooden box it came from overseas it's actually pretty nice shipping no damage nothing uh, got broken and a couple of spare parts for the for the awning if I ever need but I doubt I will ever need spare parts so let me take you over once again this camper is a work in progress I will give uh, detailed videos about the buildup structural inside outside just a quick view from the outside it's about 20 feet long it's about seven feet wide right now it can sleep four people and uh, this is the left side of the camper windows I'm charging it right now I just uh, removed the tarp that I used to cover it in the winter and there's solar panels on top six of them if you can see just a quick view anyway I'm back to what we were talking about the awning I used to have a light for outdoors it was mounted here however had to cut the bracket off i didn't want to have the holes exposed from the outside so keep it weather tight these brackets are holding this rail um, this rail 
as you can see I used to have these little uh, clips on the inside and I used to have a 12 feet long awning this piece of metal is actually 12 feet long it goes from all the way back all the way to the front of the highest part of the camper and um, this one I didn't want to take it off because it is very sturdy I connected it to four different points on the camper it's all structurally uh, bolted together with screws nuts and bolts it's weather tight and um, it's very strong so that awning I just showed you guys it's gonna have the clamp here it's gonna have a clamp here clamp there and towards the very end which is about three meters it's almost a foot and a half two feet before the end but there's an also a custom made um, access port to the underside for storage and the awning will still uh, cover that once I mentioned before to you guys um, in the earlier end of the video the second part of the box is actually going to be the the sides and it has mosquito screens and um, basically it's going to be an outdoor enclosure three meters by three meters but with our luck we have to wait for the shipping company to ship out the second box which is uh, it is what it is anyway the nice weather just started so it's not a big deal we can wait a couple of weeks a couple of months before that arrives so uh, in the meantime I'm gonna be working on the other stuff I'll show you guys pretty much everything that involves to get this thing going this light once again it used to be here but now because the actual awning it's about five inches wide by five inches the actual metal box it has to sit here I have to cut this bracket off so this light will actually go right here and it will actually get mounted here this is one light and I actually have bigger ones than these four of them that are going to be mounted in the four corners of the camper one on the back one right here that's going to go I'm going to drill a hole in this bracket I made and one of them is going to be here and it's going to have a 360 degree lighting on the outside just to show you guys one more light is going to go up here and one more light is going to go right here so when that switch on the inside which I'll run you guys through later on the whole electrical system and when you flip the switch it's going to have five exterior lights usually I plug in on shore power but those LED lights even in the middle of nowhere um, this uh, electrical system with the solar power is more than enough to keep those going without having to worry about electric electrical uh, discharge issues um, once again uh, this camper I have a seven pin connector that gets plugged into the truck so the truck has one deep cycle battery this camper has two deep cycle batteries i have solar power six panels on the roof i forgot how many but it's a couple of hundred watts more than enough um, this camper does have two fridges inside this compartment i'll show you guys that later inside my truck i have one little fridge these are all compressor driven fridges they don't draw too much i believe it but it's about 50 watts each so it's plenty enough uh, for the electrical demand there's that forklift i told you guys about good thing is going that way less noise the better um, back to the camper, back to the awning part. I'm gonna try to mount this pretty soon because I have to pick up my daughter from school now. That's why I'm in a little bit of a rush. Just wanted to show you guys quick wet, quick, uh, quick install and how to on this video. I was going to run you guys through a whole bunch more uh, how to videos about this awning, but um, time is a little bit of an issue for me nowadays. So if I play around with the camera all day, it's just less things I can get done. So I think I'm gonna cut it for now and uh, I'm gonna be hoping to actually mount this awning today because tomorrow is gonna be very cold and raining and the day after that the same weather so uh, it is what it is I can only do these things certain times of the day so thank you guys for watching and I will show you guys a um, quick video today about how it looks like when it's mounted it's not going to be permanently mounted but I'm going to clamp it up to make sure it doesn't fall down and just to get an idea of how it's going to look so thank you guys for watching um, tune in for more content if you have any questions comments once again as before in all my videos leave a comment uh, I'll be happy to answer them for you so uh, thanks for watching give this video a thumbs up um, it always helps subscribe if you can so thanks a lot guys for watching and see you guys next time on the Yotso Tech Tracks YouTube channel bye for now